Hello, I'm Justin Marshall, and in this module, we'll discuss some of the things to keep in mind when preparing assets from ZBrush for use in Mari. We'll begin by talking about mesh resolution and how it can be reduced if needed. So one of the things that Mari is really, really good at is working with high resolution meshes. One of the things ZBrush is really, really good at is working with really, really high resolution meshes. So sometimes you may have an instance where you try to bring in a model into Mari and it's just too, there are too many polygons to work with. And so there are different ways that we can work with meshes inside of ZBrush to make sure that the optimal resolution is achieved for working with it in Mari. We want to retain as much detail as possible, but we also want to be able to move around. And, and that is really dependent on your system. Uh, on how many polygons you're, you're able to handle. It's going to be a high number, but ZBrush works with uh, millions and millions of polygons. And so there will be times maybe where you'll need to reduce those. So one of the ways that we can reduce geometry is to use something called Decimation Master. So uh, if we just look at this model here in ZBrush, I'm going to turn on the polylines. And let's go ahead and take a look at the edge flow. So if we take a look at this, this has a nice quad-based edge flow that is something that would be good for a production model, something we would want to go in and, and add bones to and, and begin to animate and move around. It's going to deform really well. The problem is that creates a lot of polygons. And we can see how many polygons by either looking up here at the very top, you can see active points and total points. So we've got 3 million and then 6.8 million. We can also hover over the tool. That'll give us the polys and points, which are the same number there. There you can see it is 3 million polygons and then total would be that 6.8 million. If you want to break it down even further you can go into the sub tool sub palette here in the tool palette and you can do the same thing for each particular sub tool. So we could hover over the teeth and gums and see what resolution those are at. Uh, we can hover over the ground and see how high resolution that is. That's about two and a half million. And so you can really get a good idea of where the bulk of the polygons are going towards, you know, what, what uh, model or what subtool they're going uh, towards creating. So one of the ways that we can reduce the resolution is to use Decimation Master. So I want you to, to pay attention to a few things. So look at the edge flow and see how that looks. Okay, you can see the lines flowing across the surface. It looks, looks really nice and clean. And then also the poly count and the point count. So looking at that, it's about 3 million. So if we take a look at this, you can also see kind of the, the amount of detail that is contained within this sculpt. So you can kind of see a little bit of the hair sculpted into the body. So now we're going to reduce this. And our goal is to reduce the number of polygons while keeping as much of this detail visually as possible. So let's go in and do that. We're going to go up to Z plugin and we're going to open up Decimation Master. And this is going to go in order. There's a, an order to this, going from top to bottom. So we've got our subtool selected that we want to decimate. And there are three options up here. Freeze borders, keep UVs, use and keep polypaint. Now we're going to be texturing this in Mari, so we don't care about the polypaint at all, so we'll ignore that one. We do want to keep any UVs that we may have on here. So we'll click that. And I also want to freeze the borders. So if we have open borders, that's not going to crunch those in. It's going to try to freeze those um, so they don't move because it is going to be changing the topology. So the next thing we need to do is to pre-process. And we can either do it to the current subtool or we can pre-process everything at once. So let's just pre-process our current subtool. So as we do that, it's going to go up and, and pre-compute. You can see up at the top um, where that is calculating. Now, this is actually where the bulk of the operation is going to happen in this pre-computing. And the actual decimation where we choose the resolution is going to be very, very quick. So this part is probably going to take the longest. And if you're doing it with multiple subtools, it's going to take even longer. So let's go ahead and wait for this to finish up. All right, it's done now. It took maybe uh, 45 seconds or so to go through that. Now, nothing has changed so far. If we go back to polyline, you can see that topology is still the same. We still have the same number of polygons. So we'll go back up to decimate. It's pre-processed it. It's kind of put that information into kind of a big list, a big cache file. And now we need to decide how low do we want this resolution to go. And so there's a percentage slider right here, or you can choose by a number of polys and points. It's not going to be an exact match number-wise, um, but you can do, let's say, if we wanted to do, well, let's just start with 20%. That's what it's listed at. 
And so if we just say decimate current, look at what happens to this uh, detail here, if anything. So we'll say decimate current. And it's going to happen pretty quickly. So it's already happened. If we go over here and look at the pulleys, you can see now, if I can just hover over that, now it's down to about 1.25 million. I didn't really see too much of a change in the detail, but when you go to polyline, you'll see a big difference. Now you can see it's triangulated your mesh. So it's gone in and optimized the mesh, creating triangle, a triangulated mesh. This would not be good for a production model, the one that you want to move around. But if you're doing a statue or something like that where you just need the, the sculpt out in a way that you can use without a displacement map or normal map, this can be a good way to go. We can reduce it even further. Since we already have that pre-processing done, we can actually go in here and just change this number. And this is a very important thing to note. Um, if I change this to 10%, it's not going to be 10% of the new mesh. It's 10% of the original. So this number, you're setting a number based on a set kind of resolution from 0 to 100, where 100 would be like our starting point. So you're not creating a new starting point every time you do this. You're actually just changing where you are on that uh, on that uh, kind of line there. So if I hit 10% and go ahead and say decimate, you can see that lightened up a little bit because there are fewer polygons. If I come over here, you can see now we're down to about 600,000. Let's see how the detail looks. So for this model, it's not super detailed, but the detail's still looking pretty good. And we've reduced this by quite a lot. Let's go back and change this to maybe something like 5%. Just start kind of pushing it and see where we can go. So there you saw a little bit of a shift. And in some of these areas, you can start to see those polygons up here along the face. You can see those. A little bit low resolution in there. And so we don't want that. So we can go back in and set this back up. And we're getting that detail in there. So based on you know how low you may need to go, depending on how many pieces of geometry that you might have in your scene and what it is that you're trying to load, Decimation Master can be a way to do this. And then you can export this. You won't need uh, any displacement maps or normal maps on this, but you will have UVs, assuming that you had the UVs to start with and you chose to keep your UVs, they will still be on there. So it's just a matter of dialing this in to where you can still see the detail that you want, but it's low enough resolution where combined with the other meshes that you're going to be bringing in, you're able to work with it in Mari uh, without any sort of lag or anything like that. Okay, so Decimation Master can be uh, an option for you. Keep in mind, once you are done painting on this model, you want to actually apply the texture back to your production model. So in most cases, it's not going to be this decimated model. It's going to be the original uh, a model with a nice topology on it, right? And so the UVs are going to match. You may have to do a little bit of cleanup, but Decimation Master can get you uh, a lot of the way there when you need to reduce geometry to be able to get it into Mari. Now, hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully you bring your model into Mari and it works just fine. But if you have some issues, this can be a great option for you. So in the next clip, let's go ahead and talk about using Z Remesher to adjust topology and resolution. It's kind of a, a different way to approach things uh, if there are issues. So we'll go ahead and do that next.